Last week, Apple released the iPhone 11 Pro, arguably the most anticipated and leaked phone of the year. Unfortunately, it wasn't the radically redesigned iPhone we were hoping for, but it does have some worthwhile upgrades worth talking about. The highlight of this phone is its new camera system. On the 11 Pro, Apple finally decided to add an ultra-wide lens which lets you zoom out to a 120 degree field of view, in addition to the standard wide and telephoto lens. Unlike most other triple lens arrays, the camera modules are all carefully calibrated for color, white balance, and exposure, allowing them to work together and transition from one another seamlessly. For example, using the ultra-wide lens simultaneously with the main lens, its new interface lets you see what's outside of the frame while shooting from the main lens, which is nice, especially when doing something like framing a picture. Like the Google Pixel, it also now has a night mode, which greatly enhances pictures in the dark. On the front, Apple added a feature called Slow Feed, which allows slow-motion Instagram-worthy videos from the selfie camera. Another area of large improvement is the video quality. It can shoot 4K extended dynamic range with cinematic video stabilization at 60 frames per second, which is a bit insane. I can't even do that on the camera I'm shooting on right now. In addition, you can now edit this footage directly from your phone like you would edit a picture. No other smartphone can beat that. All these camera features like night mode, slow feet, seamless transitions between different lenses, and 4K60 are very intensive computationally and can only be achieved because the A13 Bionic CPU, which is the true star of the show. This CPU is at least one year ahead of all its competition and does way more than just power the camera. It's also responsible for features like the increased efficiency allowing 4-5 to five hours more battery life even though it has a much brighter screen capable of producing 1200 nits. The much more powerful CPU also allows features like more intensive games. The last big feature is the U1 chip which allows for spatial awareness between different U1 equipped devices. It's basically a sixth sense for the iPhone. My spider senses are starting to tingle. Now that we know mostly everything about this phone, it's time for the serious question. Is this phone worth buying? Although this phone will probably outperform all its rivals, I'd say no because I don't think you actually want it. As a company, Apple is great at making us want terrible products. They tried to sell us a $300 book, a $1,000 monitor stand, and the least ergonomic mice in the market, and they've had great success doing this because of their smart marketing. The most glaring example of this is how they try to hide the notch on their website. On the main iPhone 11 Pro page, only 10 out of the 25 pictures show the front. Furthermore, you can only see the notch clearly in one or two pictures, and the clearest one is placed all the way on the bottom of the page, somewhere most people won't even scroll to. All the other notches are hidden so that it seems like it was completely eliminated or slimmed down. And this begs us the question, why doesn't Apple want us to see that notch? If you know anything about the rival market, it's because the notch has become seriously outdated. At the time the iPhone X launched, it was the top of its class, but two years later it has become a thing of the past. All of its flagship competition has eliminated it with something like a hole punch display or pop-up camera. Even budget phones have eliminated it with a teardrop notch which is a lot less obtrusive than the one on the iPhone and that's a shame for Apple, the second most valued company in the world. The fact that they didn't change anything with the bezel is an indicator that they are slacking or that they have something radical in the works and by this, I mean the 2020 iPhone, which is what you really want. When the 2020 iPhone comes out, I guarantee that you will regret buying the iPhone 11 Pro because the front will look so much more sexy without that notch. According to multiple sources, Apple will be getting rid of that notch, bringing back Touch ID, and is even contemplating switching to a 120Hz display. This phone is the phone that actually deserves the Pro name, and I guarantee you that this phone is the phone that you actually want. And for the best things in life, we just gotta be patient sometimes. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content.